so I am at the Botanical Gardens. It is basically mid-fall. You can probably see the trees have lost all the leaves, so it's more like late fall. And basically it looks very different. It looks very, very different from coming in the summer. Usually here there's tons of irises and peonies. And now all you can see are the sticks <laughs> with the names of the My favorite bench is usually over there, just around in front of the tree. And it appears they take some of the benches out for winter. I'm gonna have some lunch. So the plan right now for me is I'm gonna have a quick lunch. I went to Tim's because it's on my way here and I have a hot chocolate and I have some tea in a bottle for later and we'll see. There's a few reasons you probably want a hat when you do plein air painting. One, you want to be able to see so it cuts down on the glare. Two, if it's in the summer and it's raining, it you know helps you see out of the rain a little and in the winter it keeps your head warm. Very important to keep your extremities warm. Three, and this is particular to a uh, type of camera I've been using since the summer, is it comes with this little thing where I can put the camera in and I can, you know, video myself drawing or painting. When it comes to materials, I don't usually make it very complicated. I'm just going to draw. I have my trusty Dessert uh, sketchbook. I use it basically for graphite, charcoal, um, a little bit of uh, colored pencils. It's nice paper for that. And usually I have my little pouch. Uh, this one I got uh, for my sister who went to Frankfurt and brought me a little pouch and I have my pens and all my things in here and this time I brought a few Caran d'Ache luminous pencils I have quite a few at home but I had this box of 20 the portrait one which I removed what was in there and basically curated my own little set that I know would be useful for plein air colors at this time of year so a lot of muted tones the camera I like to use is basically the Insta360 Go Pro, no, Go 2, Go 2, Insta360 Go 2. I usually set up the angle I'm filming with my phone just to make sure everything or where it falls. Can you see my materials here? If I had something here, would you see? So this is a better tool to kind of get a sense of what kind of composition. And I can set it up to be the same uh, format as my canvas which is in this case my notebook tell me if you ever want to uh, want me to go through a tour most of these were either done outdoors some of them were um, from home I won't lie right now I realize this hat has a very flimsy rim so uh, I'm not quite sure how much this is gonna film and we're gonna see and because it is closer to winter time, the sun is setting, even though it's barely, what, 1, one thirty in the afternoon? <laughs> I'm going to have to go fast. It's going to be a sketch, a very quick... I usually start with a really, you know, where some of my main anchor points are, and determining how big I want some of the focal things. A lot of people say, hey, rules of thirds or whatever. I just go with what pleases my eye, especially if it's just a sketch, and then afterwards I might rework it, rework it. And if it's cold like this, it's just getting something on the page. Tree is gonna come here, and it's gonna encroach on this side a little. And I know the horizon, but not the, quite the horizon. Horizon is higher. Horizon is somewhere here, but the lake in the back is somewhere here and the main land is something. And I liked this little stream going inwards 
and goes back there but I'm probably not going to go into that type of detail I'm going to concentrate on the tree on the front and the lake little pond thing in the front this is often why I usually like working with charcoal if I want to go fast because trying to put down lines and color and whatever just takes such a long time and I don't want to go into details go over if you want to just do I mean a lot of times I really enjoy when some of the composition goes off the page and goes on to the other one I just go with some of the details get a sense of where the branches go and especially the branches I like I really like this one this branch is a very lovely big branch behind this rock and it's a very slanting branch I have a little difficulty determining what it does but it seems to be going up and coming back and then going somewhere inside the tree and losing itself in the other branches this other one seems to come from the back and bend outwards in the back further and then coming back it seems to come back through the tree and gets lost somewhere and these ones branch out here further away there's two honestly it's close to freezing temperatures there's a reason that pond is iced over it's around one or two degrees probably with wind definitely at zero uh, celsius so um i probably won't be sketching very long for the rest of the tree i don't really see what's going on in the back i know just a couple of branches that go from here and further in um so i'm just gonna put whatever in it it doesn't matter but this main one, I forgot, because uh, sometimes this happens, you kind of get really taken by the detail and you forget the main one. So this main branch goes up here and branches into the tree and separates. I need to decide whether I want to put the tree, the small tree here in the back and maybe it's worth it. Maybe it is. So I'm just going to put it in quickly the general shape and um, the tr and because I don't want to stay here too long trying to sketch with the sun setting uh, even though it's not even 2 p.m. Um, I am going to try and do this with uh, charcoals. I have a mix of general and criticolor charcoals so let's try that and see how far we go. Might not be long. Color. I'm going to use it because I know this is going to get really muddy really quick, um, I'm going to put this um, sanguine dry criticolor, it's some kind of charcoal, um, down. One of the reasons I like this view is the frozen leaves that give it a little bit of color and in between everything. It's really nice. So I'm just going to... And like I said, this is going to be a really quick sketch. I don't need to go into details. It's just me talking to myself, filming I don't know what, because I don't know what I'm filming at this point. So, because the view of my camera keeps uh, moving down and down and down the rim of my hat. This is a sepia, a dark, dark brown. Uh, I'm going to use it for... Uh, technically, I could use it as my black. It's so dark compared to the other one. So maybe I'm going to use this for the pond simply because I don't want to make it with black. And black is a very harsh color. And maybe this is, will be a little more forgiving. have to forgive how awful my nails are they keep you know messing up it doesn't matter you're not here to look at my nails are you oh 
although it looks really bad. <laughs> I'm going to continue with this. Uh, very sharp. I have uh, an AF matte sharpener uh, that I really love. And that's why I keep my these ones in the tin so they don't get broken. The thing I know I want to get well is this tree. Maybe not in super detail, but I, get, I want to get a good sense of it. So when I go back home, I am able to draw it. And so I'm going to try and spend a little more time and put the details in. One of the main issues when uh, filming outside at these temperatures is that when it's this cold, batteries die very quickly. So I probably won't be able to finish filming this. Right now, I did some rocks and I'm trying to put in some of the reflections that are much darker in the pond. And I'm going to go back to the tree when I can film a little because I'm recharging the battery. My fingers are absolutely frozen. I will try and do a little bit more of the tree, but I think I'm going to have to call it a day. My nose is frozen. I can't stay very much outside trying to draw. I need to give up. So as I was saying before, um, I like doing branches just by following the grain or just how the branch seems to be headed. to convey what the material is simply by changing textures so I'm going to convey dirt by scribble stuff basically because it's dirt it's gonna be horizontal better when they're so scribbled honestly that back tree is almost looking better than the one in the front that I tried to do uh, it happens things happen and it's okay when I get home I can look at pictures and decide what I want to do I almost forgot about this branch in the back that I really liked and that kind of did this weird <sighs> that's what I love about trees if you try to draw trees from from memory, they're always going to look too pretty or the lines are going to be too even. Whereas real trees are just so messed up. They're awesome. You can see right now that I feel more comfortable with where the tree branches are going and just being more loose. I'm just, instead of doing it this way, I'm taking my pencil this way and it's just a lot more fluid and I'm liking it a lot. So now I'm going back to give it more of a loose feeling and darkening it because it is my main focus. Put those little um, berries. I'm not quite sure what they are, 
from the tree on this one. Maybe I will. I'm going to try it with a, a darker charcoal, a soft charcoal. Let's see what happens. I keep saying, I need to give up. I need to go home. I need to warm myself. You know what? I might take some tea. Hopefully the tea is still a little warm. Um, so I'm, I am putting the little cherry buds. I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to hint at something. It's just not worth trying to do this. Not at zero degrees Celsius. What do is add a little more like small branches because if not, it just doesn't look like what I'm looking at. It doesn't look like, um, I don't know what type of tree that is. Okay. Where are the shadows going? Like that tree over there. It has shadows and looks much better with it. Ah. I did like having the color sanguine at the beginning. Um, I need to make them look like actual leaves. Right now it just looks like whatever. Hmm. Let's see if this will work. So scribbles sometimes makes you think that there is texture and therefore make it look like leaves. There's a few scattered around so you can add more scribbles that are independent from the others so they look ugh, this you see how pattern don't you don't want something pattern e start with putting this color down because everything else has gotten really dark and when i put this color on top of it it gets muddy so you want some very sharp you know pure color from in places this doesn't look like a complete mess Come on, it's starting to look like leaves, right? Side, so maybe add more details there too, just so I like it when it goes onto the other side. Makes me happy. Makes me feel like the world is a lot bigger. Putting a little less pressure the further I go here because I don't want as much detail, I just want to hint so it's not quite as like <sighs> and there are dry leaves here, so I'm just gonna add a little more white. Uh, I think it's white charcoal, or I don't know, I'm not quite sure, white chalk, um, just to mix it up with the charcoal that I have under. And it looks more textured, like rocks and stone. reflection of the tree that is not as evident depending on how dark or light the sun is. Reflections, etc. I like to break it down with like um, eraser in the water um, 
I'm gonna try this and see. Is that oh oh no I kind of broke it, um. But yeah, I think it kind of works. And I'm just not gonna push it too much. Probably more like 45 minutes, maybe maximum an hour, not even. I really think it's more like 45 trying to do this. It's cold and I'm probably gonna go home or maybe drink my tea, we'll see. I'm liking this, I really am. I think I'm gonna go home. It's, uh, even though I keep saying for the past hour, hour and a half, I've been saying, the sun's setting, the sun's setting, it's not setting, it's just not very warm anymore because in the afternoon, it's just not warm anymore here in Montreal. So I'm gonna go home, probably try and rework either the drawing I did or do another one based on it. Um, I'll see you guys another time. Take care. Have fun. Ciao. Ciao. Ha <laughs> ha.